Our story today is called Plant the Tiny Seed. It's all about listening and following directions. You ready? Okay. There is magic in this tiny seed. Press it down and count to three. One, two, three. Good job. Plant another one or more, then press them down and count to four. Again, one, two, three, three, four. Good job. Wiggle your fingers to add some water. Say wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Good job. That's enough. Now rub the sun to make it hotter. Very good. Tap the cloud and wish for rain. Tap, tap. Wish for rain. Oh, there's the rain. Now clap to bring the sun again. Can you clap? <laughs> Close like this, we say clap, clap. Tap, tap. That's a tap, tap, but we can clap, clap at home. Ah, now find the worm. Oh, look for his tail. Did you find the worm? Yeah. Can you point to the worm? Good job, that's his tail. Shoo away that hungry snail. Say, shoo, go away. Shoo, bye bye. Shoo, go away, snail. Tell the little bud, good night. Shh, good night. Good night. Guess what you'll see in the morning light? Oh, it's dark. It's nighttime. <gasps> it's morning time. Wow. Now point to the purple flower. Point. Good job. Bzzz. Tap the cloud again. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. Good job. It's another rain shower. The rain's coming down. Say, it's raining. Raining. Yeah, it's raining. Touch the blossoms gently, please. Do it soft and gentle. Oh, so nice and soft. Good job listening and following directions. Oh, now jiggle the plants to scatter the seeds. Can you help me jiggle? We say jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. It's high. Jig, jig, jig. Very nice, jiggle, jiggle. The purple flower needs a clip. Swipe across the stem, snip. Good job. Close your eyes. Can you close your eyes? and wave your hands in the air. Very good. Oh, look, there's magic everywhere. I see butterflies and bees buzzing and the hummingbird and lots of pretty flowers. Ah, oh, they smell so good. The end. Good job. <gasps> Ready? Yeah. Today we're going to be doing a fun gardening lesson. I have my gloves on. Do you have yours on? Yeah. You say gloves on. Up on. Good telling. All right, next we're going to put a hat on. You tell me. Hat on. Hat on. Ooh, good. Hat on your head. And now I will put my hat on too. Let's see. Hat on my head. All right, next we're going to do some planting <laughs> in our garden. I brought with me some dirt, some seeds, seeds. our watering can, oh. our shovel, oh. our spray bottle, <laughs> and even our timer. All right, let's take some turns and talk about what we do in the garden. First, we need our shovel to dig. Can you show me how we dig? Dig, dig. Good, you say, we are digging. We are digging. We are digging. Dig, dig. Good job, all right, my turn. Now, I am digging. I'm digging a hole. Dig, digging hole. Yeah, dig another hole. Good job. Next, let's
let's take our seeds and put them at the bottom of the hole. Grab a seed and we'll put it at the bottom of the hole. Good job. There's another seed you say, at the bottom. At the bottom. At the bottom, put it at the bottom. Do you need a little help? Yeah, please. Here's your seed. Now it's in your hand. Let's put it at the bottom. Oh. That's okay. Let's put it at the bottom. Good job. Next, we're going to cover up the hole. Let's cover it up with some dirt. You try. You say cover up. I can. Cover up. You say dirt on top. <laughs> there you say dirt on top. Up. Dirt. Dirt. On top. Dirt. Good telling. All right. After that, we need to pour on some water. Can you water the seeds? Good watering. My turn. All right. You know what? The dirt is still really dry. Let's make it wet by using our spray bottle. It's dry. Let's make it wet. Good job. And this one? Very nice. It's nice and wet now. All right. We are going to put in our special seed packets. And after that, we'll see what grows. You say put in. Put in. Put in. Put in packets. All right, we're gonna set our timer. And, wow, look what grew. It's a flower garden and a vegetable garden. I got carrots. And I'm a tiny. Good telling. What else did we get? We got lettuce. And flowers. And flowers, that's a tulip. What else did we find? I found a radish. And yeah. Those are daisies and sunflowers. You tell me, like this, you say, daisy. Daisy. And this is a sunflower. Yeah. Good try. You say, sun. Sun. Flower. Yeah. Good telling. And you even found some roses. <laughs> wow, we picked a lot of flowers. Let's see what else we have. Tomato? Yeah. You don't like tomatoes? <laughs> I like tomatoes. I'm going to say tomato. tomato. Mm -hmm. I like tomatoes. And last one is a radish. Very nice. Let's go outside in my very own garden and do some real planting. Let's get ready to plant some real seeds in our garden. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, we have sunflower seeds, tomato seeds, and corn seeds. Let's first dig some holes. Ready? We are digging. You tell me digging. Digging. Good telling. Digging some holes. Say, I am digging. Good job. All right, next, we're going to put the seed in the hole. You say put in. Put in. Good. Put in. You tell me put in. Put in. Good, and one more. We say put in. Put in. Oh, wow. Now we have our sunflowers, our tomatoes, and our corn seeds in the ground. Next, Let's take our shovels and cover up the holes. You say, cover it up. Cover it up. Cover it up. And pat, pat, pat the dirt. Get some dirt and we say, cover it up. Very nice. You know what? This dirt is very dry. Let's get it wet with our watering can. Yeah. Yeah. Can you pour some water on top? Yeah. I'm going to pour some water, too. Good job. 
Very nice. You say, I am pouring. I am pouring. Good. There. All right. Last thing. We're going to take our water bottle and spray some more water. Get it really wet. Do you want to spray? Say, spraying. I am spraying. You tell, spraying. <laughs> We are spraying it really nicely. Okay, we're going to put our seeds packets in the ground so we know where things are. We have tomatoes, we have sunflowers, and we have our corn. We're going to wait for. Let's turn on our timer. Ready? Turn on our timer and here we go. Look, our garden has grown. We have sunflowers and corn and tomatoes. Wow. Let's harvest them and put them in our basket. Let's get the tomatoes first. You say get tomatoes. Good. We have one, two, three tomatoes. And let's get the corn. You say get corn. Good. We have one beautiful ear of corn. And what about our sunflowers? Should we get the sunflowers? Yeah. You tell me, get, get. sunflowers. Okay. One, two, three. Good job, gardener. Show me you're ready. All right, we're going to practice some fun words with things that we found in our garden, okay? Okay. Ready? We're going to say it like this. Tomato. Tomato. Good telling. How about this one? We're going to say blueberries. Blueberries. Good telling. Ooh, you found another tomato. How about this one? We say carrots. Carrots. Good. How about this one? We say strawberry. Strawberry. Good telling. One more. This one's called a sunflower. Very nice trying. I like the way you're working so hard. Good job. Some really great words that you can practice are fruits and vegetables that you would find in the garden. So let's practice some of those now together while we look at our book. Let's practice watermelon. Good telling. How about banana? Try with three parts. Banana. Banana. Good telling. How about pineapple? Pineapple. Good job. Ooh, let's turn our page. What else can we find? Ooh, there's a good one. We say sunflower. Sunflower. Good telling. How about daffodil? Daffodil. Good trying. I like that. Let's turn our page. Ooh, there's some more plants. And here's some more vegetables. How about we try saying cauliflower. Good. And carrot. <laughs> so there's lots of great words that go along with fruits and vegetables as well as flowers that you can rehearse and practice with your child at home for multisyllabic work or just vocabulary. So have fun with that. Here's some more fun words we can practice. We say broccoli. Good telling you say potato. Tito. Ooh, let's try three parts. Potato. Tito. Good trying. We say red pepper. Red pepper. Good. What about corn on the cob? Tito. <laughs> that is corn on the cob. And this one's a tomato. Good job. Good telling. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> All right, here's some more words that we can practice. Ready? We say watering can. I can can. Lawnmower. Good trying. Lawnmower. Good trying. You can tell me. Muddy boots. Muddy boots. Today we're reading a story about a garden. 
It's called The Little Flower Seed with Clifford, the big red dog, when he was a puppy. Here we go. Spring is in the air, Clifford, Emily Elizabeth said. Can you feel it? Clifford wagged his tail. It was true. Early spring is the best time to plant a new garden, Mrs. Howard said. The courtyard will look pretty when our garden starts to bloom, Emily Elizabeth said. There they all are in their garden. We'll have lots of vegetables and flowers in the garden, Clifford, Emily Elizabeth said. Even some carrots for daffodil. Clifford looked and smelled, but he didn't see any carrots or flowers. Emily Elizabeth and her mother worked and worked. They dug holes in the dirt. What fun, Clifford thought. They are digging. Then Emily Elizabeth dropped something tiny into each hole. Mrs. Howard covered each hole with dirt. What's going on? Clifford wondered. All the seeds are planted, Emily Elizabeth shouted. Good work, said Mrs. Howard. Let's go fill the watering can and water our new garden. Now it's my turn to dig, Clifford thought. He dug and dug. I'm helping too, he thought. Uh-oh, I don't think you're supposed to be digging. No, no, Clifford, Emily Elizabeth shouted. Stop digging up the seeds. Clifford was so confused. He didn't know what he did wrong. Seeds have to stay in the ground to become trees and flowers, explained Emily Elizabeth. This sounded strange to the tiny red puppy. It rained the next day. Rain is good for gardens, Daffodil told Clifford. Why, Clifford asked. Well, seeds need water to help them grow, Daffodil said. Look, there's the seeds and the water and then the trees can grow or the seed can grow. In a few days, Clifford saw something wonderful. Ooh, look at that. The seeds sprouted. The little flower seed had grown into a tiny plant. The sunflower was Clifford's favorite. When summer came, the puppy loved to stay cool in its shade. Isn't it wonderful, Mr. Stodarski said, and the seeds are delicious. You are a good gardener, Clifford, Daffodil said. This is the best carrot I have ever eaten. Mm -mm. Emily Elizabeth, you should be very proud, said Mr. Howard. You grew a whole garden from little seeds. Clifford barked happily. The sunflower was growing and so was he. Who knew how big they'd both get? The end.